Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who well, teach well, peace and salutations unto all the Akim, brothers, preaching this word of truth and its sincerity across the four corners of the earth, and Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. Another in transit, there's something quick through the spirit, uh, post camp, just meditating on, uh, like we were uh, going into, towards the latter end of camp, basically, the Lord is going to deliver on his promises, man. and one of them promises being the kingdom of heaven, that reward that we will get if we endure to the end. You know, we were, uh, going into how basically the brother Taz brought up a, a great point it was a, it was a Burger King worker that put in 30 plus years all these years working for this big big corporation mind you big company right they got fucking buku money and the only thing that they gave them was a gift card <laughs> and so in a bag of candy some shit like that you know, so use that for example of how uh, for lack of better words how fucked up Esau is in rewarding others <laughs> when uh, when they put in all that labor right or, or you'll get oh fuck, or you'll get rewarded a pizza party <laughs> for, for bringing in all this revenue for this for this company or you'll get this this amount discount off to shop with the uh, the place that you're at already. You're giving them more money in their pockets, but they'll give you a slight discount. Not even for free, not for free, but they'll give you a discount. So we rather serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. That's going to amount the inheritance. That he has received from his father, Yahweh Shai. What uh, that Psalms, that Psalms too, and also that links up with Psalms 149. How basically he's gonna receive the uh, the heathen for his inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth, the world. And Lord willing, if we endure unto the end, if we stick by his side, right? If we continue in the will. Walking in the will, doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're going to be partakers of that with Him. Lord willing. All right, we say that humbly, we don't know. That's why we have to hope. And that's one of the precepts that came out today. Essentially, uh, what was that Psalms 149, I think, around 10 or 11. It says, uh, I don't think I can grab it, but it says, uh, the Lord taketh pleasure, how about Shem Yahushai taking pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. What does it say in uh, Lamentations 3? It says that it is a good thing to wait on the Lord. And while we're in that waiting period, we have to occupy, we have to work. His burden is light. It's, it's uh, there's simplicity in serving Yahweh Shai, in serving Yahweh Bashir Yahweh Shai. Okay, but we have to toil. We can't just be sitting on our on our hands, twiddling our thumbs, and thinking that uh, He's just gonna grant you salvation. It's one thing to have faith, but you also have to have the works as well. It has to be a 50-50 a split, faith and the works. Because it's one thing in believing, but it's another thing in believing and actually showing that you believe. Right? Showing your love for the Lord. Love is a verb. You have to put forth the actions. What do you say? If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay. The point being that if we continue to work, <laughs> we're going to have the kingdom of heaven to look forward to. Because it's one thing in working for Esau Edom. Get the little 
temporary game right now. You know what I'm saying? We have to work. We have to get our daily bread. And this is all coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai anyway. But uh, we have to work. We have to go to work, go slave to get some money. But we know the fashion of this world passes away. That's why you have to weigh out what's more important. Working for Esau Edom or working for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, whose reward is everlasting. While the reward working for Esau Edom is temporal. You know? It doesn't amount to anything. It's all vanity at the end of the day. Because all this shit, man, all, all the shit that we see, you know, all the little, uh, whatchamacallit, temporary gain that we may have, the, the, the materialistic, that's the word. The materialistic things that we may have, all this shit's gonna get burnt up, including these bodies. <laughs> you know? So not to say you still have to make do or make well with what you have. Alright, and enjoy these things. But don't be emotionally attached to these things. Speaking first and foremost myself. Know that everything in this world is temporal. Again, it's nice to have. Like uh, I was watching Apostle uh, Apostle Rashad the other day, yesterday. I was going into it, man. As a man, you have to establish yourself and actually have um, some type of, of, of substance to yourself. And I'm learning that just being 22 years young. Okay. We're still growing. We all have our our walk. But as you continue in, the, in, in this truth, hey man, you use this world but not abusing it. But you still have to have some type of, uh, while we know the value is his faith in Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Those are the true high value men. But you still have to have something in this world in order to, to survive. You know, just be on that grind, be on your shit, be on your P's and Q's. When it comes to this world again we know this shit is temporal but while we're here like the apostle was saying while we're here bro hey <laughs> do good unto yourself essentially do good unto yourself carry yourself with some dignity show yourselves to be men all right take care of yourself love yourself all right take care of your family take care of your responsibilities he ain't, he ain't call us into this to this truth to be some nigga to be lazy, right? To, uh, to be just a fucking monk or a, a bookworm that's not balanced. Oh, man. But uh, going back into it, <laughs> now again, once and then once you grow into these things, what they say. Uh, to those that be rich in this world, be not high-minded, you should paraphrase. So if you do have some type of wealth, some type of substance, you know, do right with it. If the Lord sees fit to bless you with it, He's given you, uh, essentially, man, he, he trusts you with it. So be wise in how you spend it, how you spend your money. Against the spirit, because I wasn't even planning on <laughs> speaking on that. But again, when we work for the Lord, to say in Hebrew six and ten, the Lord is not is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, which He had ministered toward His name, toward the saints. Loosely paraphrased, I'm butchering it. But we're ministering, and we're ministering, we're working for the King of the Universe, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. All right, and that's going to amount to the kingdom or to everlasting life these people they do it for a corruptible crown they're trying to establish a, they're trying to establish themselves in a in a in a ship that's sinking in a world that's circling down the drain as we speak in a world that eventually to where call all your Shai 7441 in a world to where in order to even have a name or, or carry yourself in this society it's gonna boil down to that sea hip 
you're gonna have to choose the world serving Esau Edom or suffering for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh sake. But in knowing we're gonna be fine. I said what? We're gonna abide satisfied. And we're still and we're gonna have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you have to we have to take in consideration what's coming down the pipe. That, that tribulation, the hour of temptation. And knowing that those that save their life are going to lose it, but those that, that lose their life for his sake, for Yahweh Shai's sake, are going to find it. Because right now, we're not really living. To, to quote the Elder Apostle Bar, we're not living, we're just existing. This right here, this little shit that we, we call life, <laughs> we're really not living for real, man. Hey, we're going to be living in the kingdom of heaven. Now, we are living spiritually, you know, but we're dead to this world. All this shit means, it don't, it don't, it don't mean nothing. Now, we're looking to, 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 in the heavens, like it says in our 2 Corinthians 4. You know, to looking at things that are uh, in the heavens, bro. Knowing that he's gonna he's gonna give it to us, man. That's the love that he has for his brethren. That's the love that Yahweh Shah had for his brethren. That what? He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna split off. Huh, here you go. Yeah, I got you, bro. Like like we were saying, it's it's uh it's lonely at the top. What good is it if you have everything but you can't share it with your Aki, with the ones that you love, with your family? And that's that spirit. That's the spirit that Yahweh Shah had from his father. That righteous spirit. That sincere spirit. That caring, loving spirit. Giving spirit. That's the spirit that we have to be in. Alright. But uh, that was basically it, man. Just something through the spirit. Alright, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting on to you. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory again unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahweh Kodash. Double honor again unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will well teach well. Shabbat Shalom, Yahweh, Yahweh Shalom.